It's Animal Time! Hello and welcome to another Fig Review. Today we're going to have a look at the Figma number 425. It's Kazma from Konosuba. Well, it's actually like from an OVA, some kind of movie. There's all the text. I can't read that because I don't read Animu. But this figure, I've been really waiting on this one and I'm hoping that uh, he turns out a lot better than Aqua and Megumin, which were good figures, but I had a lot of paint issues with those. So, without further ado, let's go. So, first impression taking him out of the box. This cape's kind of weird, but we'll get to that. Let's have a look at the size real quick. He stands at about 14 and a half centimeters to the top of his head, which means he goes up to 5.8. About 5.8 inches tall. Now, overall look in detail of the face guard, Arnie Wise, Figma specialty. They never follow that. I mean, it looks good, looks detailed, looks clean. It's always printed on, so they're really not messing up with that. Also, the mouth is a little line, and the hair sculpt is nicely molded. It is pretty spiky, actually, and has some detail in it. You like the strains going down over here? Much appreciated. Now, the important part here is the paint job. I mentioned it even before taking it out of the box, and the paint job, uh, it's its not the worst, but there's some issues. The golden gem is over the line, and uh, the line around the cape is clean for the most part, while we have some small slips here and there. Doesn't really cover up the uh, dark green so well, because it's yellow, and uh, yeah, that, that just happens a lot, and you can't, I can't really fault him for that, also, because it's a green cape with just a yellow line, you can't have can't mold a yellow cape and then paint all the stuff green over it, it doesn't work out. But yeah, here's a look at all of it, like, once again, small slips here and there. It's alright, it's alright. Paint-wise, he's definitely better than Aqua or Megumin, at least the ones I got. Guys, you gotta keep in mind, this is all quality control issues. Not all of them will look the same. You might get one that's, that's a lot better in the paint shop. You might get one that's worse in the paint shop, and I'm hoping that's not the case. But anyway... There's really not that much to talk about for the rest, because this design is simple, but that's accurate to the show, so I will not give them flag for that as well. Just gotta look at what's there, and it's mostly well well done, especially like the, the little crosses, the axes in there, and then we got the sword holster in the back, I got the sword once we get to the accessories, obviously that's in there. And uh, another thing, something that doesn't really happen that much, ball joints in here are nice, but then you got the ball joints in the knee, which don't have the same color as the pants. Eh. So, I guess you only have a limited amount of ball joints in different colors. And painting it obviously wouldn't work. That would just flake off immediately. So, uh, yeah. Get some dark blue ball joints, Figma. And then down to the boots, which are clean once again. But yeah, that's about it. So for your articulation, one start off with the hat, the simple Figma stuff, it's on a ball hinge that moves back and forth, tails side to side and goes all the way around, but as you can tell, his entire neck is also on a ball, so that rotates around, and it looks very clean, doesn't leave any gaps, I'm pretty impressed with that, it's really the entire joint that's covering, that's covered, it's being covered up by the neck and part of the shoulders, but uh, let me move on to the cape, so first and foremost, it is soft plastic, the upper part is soft plastic, and then you have these parts which kind of look like they're being cut off, but that's really to line them up with the cape. The problem is, I have a really hard time lining the cape up. So also the cape is connected to the back, and then you got another... Do you have another hole in there? You got another hole in the back for the base, or you could just use that hole for the, for the base. And it depends, if you want to display them with the cape or not. Cape is three pieces, these are hard plastic, are always on ball hinges, so you can rotate, let me let me display it, let me show you with the middle piece, you can rotate it pretty much all the way around, and it goes up, and it goes down, well, that is up, and that is down, thank you brain. The sidewalk skirts also have the same articulation, and it's really kind of tough, I don't know, uh, it's weird, it, it doesn't really overlap, it is big enough to get some cool action poses, and it, you can move it around to cover up any potential holes. But the problem I'm having then is with these floppy bits over here, which you don't, you can't really connect it that way. So you really have to move it around. And I don't know. Like I'm saying, I have trouble just getting it in a position I want to. 
this is this is basically it's kind of forcing you to put it into position like that would have needed like something a pack to connect it but then it would have looked wonky so i'm not sure about the cape let's move on to the shoulders you got the double ball combination one ball in the chest area another ball hinge on the shoulder itself and this part over here is soft plastic over the shoulder so let me move that around there you got some nice rotation in the socket itself but i can't really get the shoulder up where's the hinge there's the hinge so yeah over 45 degrees very nice also rotates around obviously on the ball pack then we got a ball hinge in the shoulder and a ball hinge at the fist rotation goes up and down if i can get the hinges don't want to cooperate right now so forward back and then you got in the chest area you got a big ball hinge and another ball in the torso so that moves back forward and off I was just packed in the back why don't they pack it in straight I don't get it why it's why it is it like in an angle as a result it leaves an ugly gap but you can move it around at the ball that's in it to kind of try and close it up and still get some good articulation out of it goes forward quite a bit and does tilt side to side also goes all the way around without any problems then for the legs this is soft plastic so that will get out of the way and the crotch piece is also soft plastic so the leg can't really get it up straight because the crotch still blocks it I mean it does work just have to force a little bit over 45 degrees goes out to the side goes out to the back rotation in it ball hinge in the knee and the foot is on another ball flat ball hinge forward and to the back and does go side to side as well and he actually has a toe hinge you don't see that with Figma all the time so appreciate it now for the accessories, it's Pansu time. We got some black Pansu. There's no detail in it, unfortunately, but it looks all right. Just fold it up. I would have liked some ribbons or something on the front, but hey, you got the Pansu. That, that was very important to me. Then we got the faces, also expressionate, super great stuff. You got the purr face and the yelling kind of running away from Toad's face, I, I guess I'm calling this one. Also, it should be noted that if you pre-order this figure on the Good Smile store, uh, you get an exclusive face. I'm going to put that up on the picture right now, uh, on the video right now, because I never order from Good Smile. Just keep that in mind, but you could have gotten a different face, but I don't want to have it. So, there you go for the hands. You got the grabby hands, open hands, holding hands, and uh, completely open hands, and the one hand for the freeze ice effect his ice spell just kind of put that in and there you go looks pretty nice translucent blue plastic with a little bit of white in it so i i really dig the effect of that i'm probably gonna use that and then finally small sword the what was it again chuchumaru chuchumaru nice paint job got the metallic in it got the gold and the brown handle nicely done and as for every figma you got the figma base and the Figma back off to the side. So that's gonna do it. That's gonna bring me to the final thoughts for this Figma Cosma from Konosuba. What do I think about this figure? Well, I mean, as I mentioned before, the previous Konosuba releases were kind of hit or miss, especially in the paint. This guy, he still has some slips, but really forgivable. But then again, he has a simple design. But at the end of the day, this is still a very nice figure. We got the Pansu, we got the creepy face, and the ice effect and that's really all you need for Cosma so I do recommend this guy don't really have an issue with it so go out and get yourself a Cosma that's gonna do it guys as usual thank you very much for watching don't forget if you enjoyed this review hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure reviews gameplay stuff and whatever Cosma wants